Adam Turner, PGC Basketball, back again for another edition of Sunday Set. And on this Game 7 Sunday, we have a really good concept we're going to show you from the Portland Trailblazers. So this series has gone back and forth, and as they get ready for Game 7 today, it's now back in Denver for Game 7 with Portland having tied it up. And man, something to look out for is a concept that Portland has been able to take advantage of, and that's utilizing Denver switching against them to find easy opportunities. Let's dig into it here. So the concept's simple and you can look out for it today. It's when Denver is in their switching mode, Portland's gonna set multiple screens in a row. So right here you can see this is a screen the screener look. It's Seth Curry setting a screen for Rodney Hood to attract a switch, which then Rodney Hood goes right into a ball screen for CJ McCollum to attract a switch. And when you do this enough over the, over the course of a game, you can cause a breakdown the way that the Blazers do right here. So you can see this, when Curry sets this screen, Millsap actually stays home on Hood, but then he calls for the switch on the ball screen. Barton just doesn't hear the switch early enough or is just confused by the multiple screening actions and takes one or two false steps. That frees up Rodney Hood to have a little bit too much room to operate. And by the time Barton gets back, Hood is well into his move with an advantage going to the bucket. The second one is a little different, but it's organized to take advantage of the exact same miscommunication. So here you're gonna have Damian Lillard setting a step up ball screen for Evan Turner. And then you're gonna have actually Zach Collins setting the screen, the screener look, and it's gonna be a flare for Dame Lillard. And the exact same thing happens here. As we watch the playthrough, Jokic just kind of gets mixed up, doesn't really switch on to Lillard. And then when Lillard comes off the screen now, it's one to guard two. So Paul Millsap's just in a bad position. He's got to switch out onto Dame Lillard, but Jokic isn't there to switch on to Collins, and now they're in trouble. It's a wide open dunk going down the paint. And you can see the miscommunication and the confusion here on Gary Harris's face. He switches on, plays good D, and then realizes nobody switched on to Lillard, and he turns around to look at him, and by the time he turns around to recognize it, it's too late. So this is a simple concept, but look out for Portland setting multiple screening actions today to confuse Denver's switches. Something you can do as well as a coach or as a player is go set a lot of screens. A lot of them won't mix up the D, but if you do it over and over again, you'll eventually cause confusion. And so what do you do? Well, coaches, set up your players to slip. Players slip screening actions against switching Ds. And also coaches, make sure your players are ready to attack and players attack switching defenses because a lot of times they're just a step or two behind, but that's enough like Rodney Hood in that first clip to get all the way to the paint and to the rack. Hey, enjoy game seven today. And if you want to learn how to think the game at a higher level, we have point guard college sessions all across the summer where we're teaching players and coaches how to do exactly that. Also, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button below. Leave us a comment. Let us know what other sets you want to see us break down. And definitely subscribe to the channel. Ding that bell so you're notified every time we put out a new video. And once again, can't wait to see you at a session this summer. PGCBasketball.com is the spot. Enjoy this Sunday.